All right, so here we have the case. This is the extraction that we did. This is a lower left second molar that developed this cyst, this abscess, due to an endoperial lesion. And the uh, protocol of extracting and socket preservation technique is very important to use in order to remove completely and curate completely the abscess and the uh, granulated tissue, uh, gran granulometrous tissue that is really attached to the hosting bone to use active curettes. Otherwise, if you use the rounded ones, you won't be able to remove all the attachment of the cyst. Once we uh, make sure that the cyst was removed, we have to sound the bone and feel that the bone is hard. So there is no remnant cyst attached to the hosting bone. Once we do this, we're going to do a soccer preservation technique by using biomaterial. In this case, we're using beta calcium phosphate. This is a synthetic bone that we mix with the fraction two. Remember that the fraction two, according to the BDI protocol, is the uh, fraction that has the most amount of platelets and the one that you have to use in order to mix it with the bone graft. And then we're going to use the fraction one, which is the one that is uh, uh, in a more distance, the one that is on the top of the vial when we centrifuge and we fraction. And this is the fraction one. The fraction one is the one that we will use in order to make fibrin membranes. And those fibrin membranes, we are going to use them in order to keep the graft in place. Then we're going to make some specific sutures and then we'll make sure that that graft is stable. So the agglutinative properties of the growth factor therapy will allow me to ensure the integrity of the, tra the, of the graft throughout all the time that it's needed. In this case, we're gonna wait for six months, and then in six months, we will retake another CBCT to planning to plan our implant.